All right, guys, what's up? Did I here today? And we're gonna install two Tesla P40 GPUs into a uh, Dell PowerEdge R720. And uh, I made a couple, actually two other videos like this so far. Um, but I just wanna do a quick one to, to show you how to install two of these on uh, a, rel, a, reg, a Dell PowerEdge R720 server. Um, actually, I made a video where I put this one or one of these in uh, an XD and uh, the XD didn't have two slots, so I couldn't put both of them in, which I really wanted to do. And then I found this server on sale with Save My Server uh, for like 200 bucks. So I just bought this and now we're going to install um, these two guys in that server. So uh, anyway, without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and hop in. Um, oh, before we get any started, though, I do want to mention, again, uh, the cabling you're going to need, and I'll link these in the video description, but this is a 12-volt um, EPS mail, and that goes to two 6-plus-2 uh, pin uh, PCIe uh, connectors mail, which goes to two female 8-pin PCIe um, connectors and then finally back out to a 12 volt uh, EPS so that's what we're doing here today and that's what we're gonna use to actually pick everything up um, so without further ado guys we're gonna go hop in all right guys so first thing we want to do now is we want to go ahead and reinstall or re put back this um, uh, plastic covering it's gonna hold our GPUs Make sure you do that because it's always a step I forget and then I have to take it out and then put the, uh, take the GPUs out and then fight them again to get them in. So um, I like to just leave everything in place and then slot it in at the end, kind of get it situated there first. Well, if I can, it's kind of a pain. There we go. So yeah, if you can get it situated on this end first, there we go. It's much easier to work with the rest of the way. And then just kind of work it in, stabilize it in the back, and then push everything together. You should hear it kind of click in place. And there's a little notch. A little notch right there that should be clicked in place. And so you can remove or take that, push that down if you want to take it out. Um, but okay, first one's in. And now what we wanna do is we wanna hit this blue button, which is gonna pop out an arm. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in place. That's gonna help stabilize this as well. And then before we get it too tight, um, we're gonna use this cable. So uh, again, pretty simple or self-explanatory, but just make sure that you put um, these two together, so the two eight, there are six plus two pin uh, male and the eight pin female. Just snap those together. It should be fairly obvious how they go. They only go one way. Um, and then you can, or you'll be ready to actually install this guy. Um, so it's not the easiest. Um, it kind of sucks actually to get these uh, put in place properly. So, you know, just know that in advance. But I'm gonna try it this way. It seems like that might this might work. So you can push those guys in here. So 12 volt EPS goes into the uh, 12 volt EPS outlet on the riser, and make sure that's all the way plugged in. So you hear it uh, kind of latch in place, or feel it latch in place rather. And then I'm gonna try to keep everything um, pushed up in here although that may not be the best way to do it that's what i'm going to try to do there we go and then hopefully you know what actually i think yeah i think i'm gonna do the other way sorry guys i lied i don't like that
there we go. I think it'll actually, there's a lot more space here. So I'm just gonna put this in, in because I think it'll actually fit a little bit better from a cable management perspective. Okay. Okay. It certainly doesn't really like to go this way, it seems like, but alas, that's kind of what it has to do. So I think that fits a little bit better. Not great, but it's all right. So, okay. So that's what it's going to look like. Or the final product is going to look like. And hopefully you can find a place to shove these guys. There we go. All right. Excellent. So that fits in there kind of like that, which, you know, not great, but not horrible. So again, you can just shove it in those little holes. Um, and that should be fine. So let's go ahead and put this clip back. And this guy should be completely locked in place. Okay, now, second one. I'm gonna go in this bay. <sighs> so let's go ahead, take these dudes out. All right, same procedure. So we're gonna go ahead, turn it upside down and try to stick the back end in first until they kind of clip in or get close to clipping, I should say. And then uh, angle it so that it goes into the, into the riser, or into the PCIe slots on the riser. You know what, one thing that might help as well is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unclip this. It's gonna give us a little bit more space to work with or a little bit more flexibility, I should say. Um, so there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. So there's a little bit of bend. And then finally we can clip everything in. Beautiful, did you hear that nice uh, snap? Um, and now we can, you know what, we're gonna leave it Leave these unclipped for now because that will help us be a little bit more flexible when we're putting all of this um, cabling together. So again, we're going to clip these together and this guy together. Those are locked in place. Uh, and now is the fun task of figuring out how um, we're actually going to route this. So. At first glance, it looks like it's going to be easiest to fish this under, if it's possible. Probably should have done this beforehand, before I started. In fact, we're going to go ahead and... There we go. almost through now yeah you would absolutely would want to do this before you start I should have absolutely done that myself but uh, anyway it's the goal here is we're gonna take this cable up bend it over so that it is facing the correct way shove it in Tell you what, cable management this sucks. I wish they made a better cable. They actually, there is a better way to do this. There is a guy that makes custom 12 volt EPS to 12 volt EPS specifically for this style of GPUs. And I'll, I'll link his uh, description in the bio. But I just, I try not to use custom parts as much as possible. This makes things complicated or more complicated. If you need to replace them, it's hard to find, so. Anyway, I just try to stick to the to mainstream stuff you can buy on eBay or 
whatever. And these are the only parts I could really find that seemed to fit the bill. So, uh, so anyway, all right, that's the second one. So under, starting through here, under the GPU, and then they just kind of pop out and you can shove everything uh, in here. So not the most graceful solution by any means, um, just kind of shoved in there, but it does work. Um, so, and so far I haven't had any, I have two P100s in another machine and I have, hadn't had any heat issues with that. So, you know, I'll report back if I do, but for now it seems to work out pretty well. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and clip everything back in place. Gonna get these GPUs locked in. So that guy's good now. There we go. So that's clipped in. And then we also want to make sure we clip on this side as well. So there's a blue button right there. Press that. And this guy is gonna come out. And it's gonna be a little bit stiff, so you're gonna have to press on it. But that's gonna lock this guy in. Uh, and there you go, guys. That is how to install uh, GPUs for the, or sorry, two GPUs, two Tesla P40 GPUs in a Dell PowerEdge R720 server. All right guys, so now we're back upstairs. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the drivers. So first thing we need to do is open up a terminal. So let me do that really quick. All right, so we got a terminal here, um, and we want to SSH into uh, the new server. So that's actually going to be so it's R720, Ubuntu 22.04, and then the service tag. And we just want to use the internal connection. All right, go ahead and enter our passkey. And then we'll use two-factor authentication. Sorry, I was trying to find my phone. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. We're in now. Um, so what we're gonna do is the first thing is sudo um, Ubuntu drivers, and then we want devices. This is gonna list out all of the drivers that are compatible. Uh, with our particular devices and it does take just a minute to uh, figure all that out um okay and so this recommends i like this because it recommends the uh, particular driver um you know for what you have so um in this case it's recommending the nvidia driver uh 535 but upon doing a little bit more research what i'm going to do since we're using this for AI, machine learning, deep learning, things like that nature, and we're also using it on a server, we're gonna install the NVIDIA, uh, this particular server version of the driver. It's just optimized to run better on a server, um, and it's optimized more for compute um, versus like rendering. So, I mean, it is, it is a type of compute, but it's optimized more for the type of compute that um, you know we are going to be doing, or at least I'm going to be doing uh, going forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say sudo uh, apt install. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's try that one more time. sudo apt install. Man, I cannot type today. And then we'll copy and paste that in. And I've already installed this. So as you can see, you know, it's already been installed. So from this point, you would install that. And then you would need to reboot your machine. Otherwise, uh, you know, the drivers you're not going to be able to uh, access your drivers or, oh my goodness, access your GPUs. So make sure you do that. Once you've rebooted, you can come back up and re-log into your server, and then you should be able to run uh, NVIDIA SMI, uh, and it will show you uh, all of the GPUs you have available. So as you can see, it gives us the driver version, uh, or sorry, yeah, driver version, um, tells us we have two Tesla P40s uh, at 24 uh, gigs a piece. So, um, you know, this is this is what you should see, and this will tell you that you're ready to start using these in all of your um, AI, ML, and DL projects. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.
All right, guys, brief reminder here. If you enjoyed the content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so I can continue to grow and produce better and better content for you. If you really enjoyed the content, you might even consider buying me a coffee, and the link for how to do that will be in the video description below. Um, if nothing else, please just give me some feedback in the comments and let me know how I'm doing, uh, if anything's unclear, or if there are anything uh, that I can improve on. Thank you again, guys, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.